Hey, what is up guys? This is Zach and Grayson here with Dream Media Home Theater and today we're doing another theater project. Basically, we're just doing a little upgrade. He's getting rid of this 60 inch TV here and we're gonna be putting in a 133 inch Dragonfly high contrast screen along with the Epson 4050 that you've seen us use a lot recently. Here's the setup, Grayson. <laughs> he is working on disconnecting all of the devices and everything's gonna be moved over to here. So we're gonna take uh, hook up his front left, front right, sub, center speaker up here and then we're gonna be using these clips, Pro 16. RCs for overheads right here where it's pre-wired and then back here we're gonna leave these speakers as is so he's gonna be running a seven channel system we'll upload the process as we complete the work thanks for watching check it out guys we are moving right along you can see we got all that ripped out and Grayson's getting everything connected up here we got the customer's tower in the pre-wired location now hooked up to the home's wiring here on the right hand side hooked up to the pre-wire happy St. Patrick's Day <laughs> And Grace is working on the center speaker right now. I'm also getting the rear traced out, or the surrounds, and the customer actually didn't have a Smurf tube in the ceiling. It's odd, um, but that's something you should look at in your own home if you're having it built. Make sure they put in a Smurf tube, because if not, we have to convert the Cat5 cable over to HDMI, the most current version, using a bail-in. Bail-ins are not cheap, so if you want to save yourself some money, put in a Smurf tube. Put in a tube. Check it out, peeps. We got the Epson mounted to the ceiling. This is the 4050 model. Now Grayson's gonna move our blanket up underneath this termination here and get our in ceilings cut in. Stay tuned. Hello, I'm Grayson with Junior Media. This is the Klipsch speaker. Pro 16C. And see, it has an aimable woofer and tweeter. Pretty nice. In case now you really can see. <laughs> and then, uh, Got a nice magnet and uh, some gold push terminals. Very nice. And it has the separate mounting thing, which I'm gonna use to demonstrate how to do it. I can't see. <laughs> Check it out. We got our end ceilings in, our projector. Our rears are hooked up. Grayson's connecting the amp over here. We are getting something done now, boys. What do we got here, Gray? What well, model I are think using? This is the SR5013 by Marantz. Okay. 7.2 channel receiver. And um, will work perfect with this particular room. <laughs> install a projector screen. So the next step is I just need to find the studs in the wall and get my bracket mounted onto the wall so that we can hang the projector screen. I'm use a stud finder and hit some studs here. So I have a stud here, stud here, and stud here, which should be more than enough. 
I'm gonna go ahead and take my back bracket. Right here. I'm gonna get it mounted into the wall. Universal remote here. They had like three this is the one button press okay. touchscreen oh, from Pro Control, the Pro 24R. We're pairing that together with the charging station, just like that, as well as the Pro Link, which is going to give the customer the ability to control the devices through the walls, not have to point it anywhere, which is very nice. In this particular situation, it's all in the closet anyway, so you have to have something like this. And I'm just programming it in right now. You can see on the screen, they're gonna have options for cable, Blu-ray, Apple TV, Bluetooth, VHS, and the PS4. And I just gotta get it all uploaded onto our remote and test it out. Just finished up this project and we hooked up the customer's own front left right and center speaker as well as the customer's rear speakers which was a 5.1 and we just added in some Klipsch Pro 16s professional series Klipsch speakers and those are the six inch Ramo metallic woofers which we did provide and then on the projection side which we did provide we have the Epson 4050, which you've seen on a lot of our videos. 
and we used some of the existing wiring that was there. We had to use a bail-in to convert the signal from Cat5 over to 4K HDMI. And that all terminates back here in the closet. We're broadcasting onto a 133-inch high-contrast gray screen from Dragonfly, which you can see is performing really well even with the lights on. I'll show you with the lights off. Pretty nice imaging for 133 inches. Over here is where everything's terminating. We have all of the customer's devices. He's got Apple TV, gaming consoles, Direct TV, all the standard stuff. And then a Marantz, which we did provide, and this is the SR5013 7.2 channel AVR. Everything is terminated in here, and we have to control it with the doors closed, right? So we did a one button press touchscreen remote for the customer, which you have seen us use a lot. This is extremely reliable. I really like it because you hit one button, it turns everything on, it turns up all the correct input for you, making your life extremely easy so you can just enjoy the system. We even put a charging cradle on right here that keeps it charged all the time. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed our video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below. If you'd like to purchase these products, we do have nationwide free shipping and a low price guarantee. And if you live in Dallas, we'd love to come hook it up for you. Thanks for watching, guys.